all right let's start off with a little bit of top water it's so still right now the water is so flat zero winds right now it's gonna pick up it's gonna change but I'm gonna start with a little top water right now it's still in the morning haven't seen really any activity yet it's hard to believe that this whole area was bone dry just a couple days ago and yeah that north wind and it just was brutal and pushed out all the water so I'm not really too sure what the bite's gonna bring today but hopefully it's something Here's my truck. This is where we come out wade fish her. Um, I'm like so far out here. There's zero water. There's the causeway, long reef right there. Look at this. Crazy, man. What the hell is that over there? Something's over there on the shore. And I am walking, like I swear to God, I'm three, four hundred feet on dry water. I mean, dry land. Holy crap. And hopefully, this can be a good one. But thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I just started off the morning throwing a little bit of top water. We're going to change it up today. We're going to change it up quite a bit today. Kind of looking for some reds. So. I'm not going to shy away from anything else that might be biting, but I'm definitely going to be looking for some reds. But if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and um, wish me luck. So I'm going to do trying to fish for a trout, so I'm just going to raise it up, let it fall. Pop it, let it fall. You know, and you can do this in different, like different depths. So you have different water columns. If you want to, you see more activity kind of going on, on on top water, or you see bait swimming by, then you want to try to keep it on the surface. But in this case, the water is not really that deep. Probably maybe two or three feet, no more than four right here. And uh, so I'm just kind of doing it towards the bottom, almost like you're fishing, almost like fishing for a flounder. Well, you just let the I'll raise it up more, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall. Oh, I just see a little piece of shrimp jumping. Yep, 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 I see shrimp jumping right there. Shrimp jumping on the water. Someone's chasing him, yep, right there. Could be a croaker, could be some small, but we can hope for the best. And based on past experience, it's kinda what you see in the water. So in case you ever see shrimp and you don't have a shrimp style lure, which I have shrimp style lures, but if you don't, have a shrimp style lure then try to pick something natural or, or white looking and uh, try to match the hatch the same kind of profile this is a little bigger than the shrimp that I saw jumping but I might put a smaller shrimp on if that's the case if that's what they want you know you want to give them what they want you want to give them what they're going after you want to match the hatch <laughs> Feels like it. Oh, it's off! God dang it! That was a nice flounder. Hold on. Oh, 
That was not a flounder. <laughs> that was a speckler. That was a nice little, nice little speckle trout. It's a little guy. I think he might be decent. Got him on that salty head. Bucktail. That was a nice solid hook set though. You know what this water movement, I thought it was a, a flounder because it kind of felt like it sat still. But yeah. I'm gonna let him go. Oh, that's a nice flounder. Maybe that first one was a flounder. Uh, little guy. You got him, Eric? Rockfish. I got him on the bucktail here. Three JD lure too. So he might be. He might make legal size, I think. With that board, we'll take a look. Oh we'll see. Oh we'll see. Might just be a small female. Or big male. Which one are you? 16 and a quarter. Man, I don't have one. I got one. 16 and a quarter. Nice little thickness to them. I think Eric's, Eric's going to harvest this one. Uh, I love some flounder today, the man said. Flatty right there. <laughs> that was a, this is a little small guy. Yeah. Little baby. Baby, baby. Uh, there we go. That was the first one on that purple wedge tail. Uh, look at that. That's a tiny one. But he's nice. Purple wedge tail. We got a Texas Rattler jig head. Purple wedge tail from Inger Bates. And uh, this water clarity. I just thought purple would look good. It's real clear. Nice, nice stain to it. You got a really good visibility, probably up to like two and a half feet. So, uh, after that's a little stain, but purple chartreuse tail. We liked it. Get off. There you go, baby. Ooh, baby, he like it. baby, he like it. Oh, yeah, little man, little man. A couple little boys out here. Switch the color. Switch the color and got the little, got a little chipper to bite. Hold it up. There you go. Nice, nice. A little chipper. Chipper roo. Hey, look, 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 look. Oh, yeah, baby. No, it ain't a fish. It was, it was a uh, dirt. <laughs> Another little chip, man. We're on the chips. It's still there, huh? Are you hoping? It was heavy. Yeah, another little chip here. You can see. Let's see if I can. See if I can show his belly. He's all muddy right there. Look like he's been laying in the mud all morning. So they're kind of laying and hanging out. Not kind of what we're looking for. Looking for something a little bigger. Actually, came to the day looking for reds today. Kind of hoping for reds. Am I in your way? Sorry. Keep drifting all over the place.
Hey man, hey, ha hey man. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. You know, Eric and I, we had a good time out here fishing. Beautiful West Bay. The water is gone. As you can see, it is completely and totally dumped out. Like I said earlier, it dumped out a few days ago and it came back in. Uh, yesterday, I guess, it kind of came back in, but as you can see, it's it's out again. So yeah. makes fishing kind of a little challenging. You know, the fish kind of get scattered and, and scarce. But uh, we were able to run into a few. Yeah, we caught a couple. A couple caught a flounder. Few, caught a few flounder, one keeper for the day. Did a little bit of exploring and, you know, took a took another route we never took before and kind of tried to side cast a couple reds. Unfortunately, yeah, it was yeah. fun. Unfortunately, we didn't see any, but hey, we still had a good time. I hope, I'm hope, I hope you did too. Yeah. And if you like the video, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up. Thanks. Yes, sir. <clears throat> There you go. Here you go, Eric. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Man, y'all actually wrapped the present for real, dude. Says, do Eric from Rubik, Julia, Christopher. Man, I appreciate it. Ain't nothing but no small thing, Thank dog. You, bro. Thank you. That's what's up. Want me to open it now? Go ahead. Unless you're going to wait for Christmas. <laughs> hey, hey. Next year? <laughs> Next year? Yeah, Christopher tried to carry it and it broke. He did a, a good job. Of... <laughs> That's what I needed. That's what you needed? <laughs> yes, sir. Got your little one to go, baby. Man, that's all I need. That way you don't have to share with nobody. For real. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, that's the best gift I've got in years, bro. Well, I'm glad you like it, bro. Hell yeah.